All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a quick unboxing for you guys. Probably go through this pretty fast, just so the video is not too long. And we just had a front come through, and yesterday we had a um, weather advisory in effect for high winds, so I probably won't be fishing until Thursday and Friday. That way the cold front's passing, I have the best chance at a good bite. All right, first up, I got some Z-Man Ned Cross, the Pro Cross. These will be really nice on Ned Rig. These are in Green Pumpkin, 3.5 inch. Then I got the smaller size in the TRD Cross, and this is Molten Craw. Kind of has a sparkly bottom. Those should be really sweet. Then, since one of my favorite lakes is finally thawed out, um, and it's one of the rare lakes around me that actually has gizzard shed, I just got me another uh, lipless gizzard shad pattern in the half ounce. So that will be good for bass and particularly wiper. Um, it's also where I catfish, but the two main things I fish for there is uh, wiper, which is the hybrid stripe bass, and catfish. Then I've been wanting to try 13 Fishing's crankbaits. They got some really sweet looking paint jobs. This is the 13 Fishing Flatty Daddy in Clearwater Perch. It's a flat sided crankbait, so it should have that tighter wobble. Also picked up a Rapala BX Brat that dives six feet, three quarters of an ounce in Blaze. It's a balsa wood crankbait. Then I picked up some of the Rapala rattling Rapalas, the in the size seven half ounce. This looks like holographic blue shad. You could kind of see the reflection. Then I got another one of those in blue shad, but without the reflective look. So just your standard blue shad. Then we got some more 13 fishing stuff here. We got the 13 fishing jabber jaw in the bluegill pattern. This has that metal lip that kind of goes back and forth and hits against the bait, kind of like a chatterbait does pretty sweet I'm excited to try that never tried that another 13 fishing but in a normal square bill crankbait called the warthog 60 I believe this is a half ounce this is the lucky charm color so kind of like a bait fish looking color then the size up the warthog 70 in sweetie pie this is three quarters of an ounce square bill then the warthog 60 the half ounce I think this is called dream gill nice looking blue gill pattern all right moving along I got another z-man chatterbait just the cheap one the original chatterbait and green pumpkin these do work. Sure, you could get the jack cameras, but those are expensive. So sometimes I like getting the uh, Z-Man Original or the Custom or Elite. And then I got four packs of in size 2 and size 4 to switch out all the stock treble hooks. Because some of these don't come with good hooks. Some do, but I like the KVD Elite Triple Grips. Size 4 or size 2 for like the... 1.5 size square bills in uh, um, the lipless crankbaits in size 4 for the smaller stuff. And like I said, I got a pack, two packs of the 2s and 4s. Then I got a Strike King. Um, is this a 200 or 300? 300 jerkbait in the Sugar Daddy. Um, dives 4 to 7 feet. Got the three hooks. Then I got another one, but in a clear water looking perch color. I already opened this one and took it uh, to the pond to see how it looked in the water. All right, next up, I just got some normal terminal tackle, some hooks. 
some Gamagatsu offset EWG hooks in 3 aught, 2 aught. Just need to restock. And then I got some offset shank um, regular worm hooks in 3 aught and 4 aught. So nothing special, just Gamagatsu makes good hooks. I like them. Alright. Got some swim jigs. Some Strike King Tour Grade Swim Jigs in like a bluegill and green pumpkin color. 5 sixteenths. Another in 5 sixteenths. And one in 3 eighths. Tour Grade Swim Jig. Then we got the Hack Attack uh, Swim Jig from Strike King, which is built with a beefier hook for the thicker stuff. Um, 3 8 ounce, I believe this one is the bluegill. And I think this one is just standard green pumpkin. And this one is also 3 8 So both of those in 3 8 Alright, next up I got some young craw chunks. Um, for just any uh, normal jigs. They're 3.25 inch, so perfect size for full size or finesse jigs. So I got some in green pumpkin. So these got the bigger claws so they have more of a nice flapping action. I don't know why I got this color but I did. <laughs> the Yum Craw Chunk 3.25 inch in camo. Kind of a different looking color. Yeah it's got, I don't know, it's kind of like a green with a reddish bottom. I guess I could pull one out real quick since it's opened. Yeah, so the top is kind of like a watermelon color color with flake. And then the back side's kind of like red looking. So yeah, that will go with a lot of different jigs. Especially when you want that sparkle. Then I got some in the standard crawdad color from Yum which is like a green with a orange belly. I really like this color. To me, this looks like a lot of the uh, crawdads we have out here. And then I got some in watermelon red flake, which is a good old standard color, especially for clear water. All right, next up, I got my favorite uh, tubes, which are, which are the 3.5 inch Pro Model Strike King coffee tubes. Great color here, good for small mouth, large mouth. Um, green pumpkin flake, which is, it's got green and uh, copper flake. As you can see right there. Good looking color. And to go along with that, I got some Strike King tube jig heads in quarter ounce. They got the Gamagatsu hook. And then for those times where I want a faster faller in deeper water, a 3 8 ounce. These come in a three pack. Just your standard J hook on uh, these tube heads. All right, sticking with some swim jigs. I got some Santone swim jigs, 5 16 in Bass Candy. Really good looking swim jig here. Then a 7 16 of an ounce in Sun Perch. Really gorgeous looking color there. We got a lot of perch lakes and reservoirs here. The reason why I got so many different sizes, because normally as a bank angler, I like like 5 16 or quarter ounce, is because they just didn't have the weights that I wanted in all of these, so I kind of had to go either up or down a size. Here's some in a Fiesta perch. These will go really good in some of the grass lakes and grass ponds that I fish. Then the old standby when you want to downsize, uh, the Strike King Bitsy Bug in quarter round, so I got a black and blue and a green pumpkin. These are really good for small pond fish, or if you're at the reservoir and it's a tough bite and you need a downsize, put on one of those small trailers. Then I've always wanted to try these. I've seen these on other channels, and it's pretty sweet because the way that your trailer goes on, it's not like other jigs. It's the Trashmaster Heavy Cover Mini Skirt Jig. 
This is Green Pumpkin, 6 aught hook in 3 8 ounce, and then I got the same one in a half ounce. I'll pull these out and show you why they're kind of unique. So these truly are a weedless jig. They don't need no uh, weed guard because you screw your trailer into the screw lock here. Kind of like how you do with a swim bait hook, belly weighted swim bait hook. And then you just text pose it on that hook and you'll have completely weedless. weedless. Which to me is really cool for when you want to throw into that thick, heavy cover and you're tired of getting snagged. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. Six aught hook. The Trash Master Heavy Cover Jig. Nice mini skirt so it's not too bulky. Because if it was, I'd have to cut the skirt down. Alright, next up... So I like these better than the trick worm, the zoom trick worm, and not just that, the trick worms in a lot of the colors I like are always out of stock. It's pretty annoying. So these net bait um, T Mac worms, they come in a 20 pack, just like the zoom trick worms, and I love this color, especially um, for the waters I fish in the summer. It's a green pumpkin red. I believe these are six and a half inch worms. A lot of people like these better than the trick worms, and I'm going to have to agree with that. The trick worms are good, too, though. They're good standby. It just seems like the colors I want are never in stock. And then good old red bug. You can't go wrong with any red-type color worms. To me, these kind of actually do look like a night crawler, just with some sparkle in it. 20-pack. And then plum is pretty close to... Red bug, really close. Maybe it's more of a lighter red with some blue sparkle. But that's alright. I didn't realize they were so close because sometimes when you look at the pictures online, it's not exactly what it's going to look like in person. But yeah, some nice 20, uh, 20 pack worms. And these are more durable than the Zoom Trick Worm. I can guarantee you that. And then they just had these for really cheap, you know, if you, you don't have to get Gamagatsu hooks, but to me they're really nice hooks for a pretty decent price. But I'll tell you what, Eagle Claw does make nice hooks, and I got these 3 aughts in a 20 pack of these EWGs, and the, the extra wide gap, for I think it was like $3.99. There's nothing wrong with Eagle Claw hooks. And then I saw these on, uh, um... Randy Blockett's channel, who's an older professional bass angler. They're the Gamagatsu G Finesse hybrid shape hooks, which are kind of like a cross between your standard J worm hook and an EWG. And I thought these looked interesting, so. And being that it's a hybrid, you can fish it on thicker plastics, your thinner plastics, whatever you want. And it has this, uh, what do they call it, a nano coat. And it's supposed to help penetrate a lot better, but these are not cheap. So I'm going to try them, and if they're really as good as people say they are, then maybe it's worth it. If not, then I won't buy them again. But they're a nice, thin, wire, strong hook, and I've heard good things about them. And to be honest, I was curious and wanted to try them. And that's all I got for you guys. I do can use this for all, kind of attack, all kinds of tackle storage. So yeah, it's the 7... It's the 3730 Plano series. So I'm gonna, I don't know, I'll probably use this for crankbaits, jerkbaits, and it will fit in my tackle bag. It's the thick one, but I'll also use it for storage here. Um, that's part of why I wanted to get this unboxing done so I could get these boxes off my uh, counter and put them away and put them into my tackle bag. But that's all I got for you guys today. Um, like I said, Thursday and Friday, I'm going to go fishing. Um, one of those days for my catfish guys, I'm going to go. And if the catfishing's really good, I'm probably going to go back the next day. So I promise you guys some videos are coming. Some fish catches are coming. Um, you know, I waited so long. It took me forever to get my camera. And then when I did, it was during the winter. So I know 
I've been saying fish catches are coming, but finally the weather's getting nice. Places are starting to thaw out. So I promise you they're coming. I'm also just going to have to probably drive a lot farther to get into some decent fish. And you got to do what you got to do. Um, the reason why I bring that up is because I keep losing subscribers every now and then. Like I just lost another one. And I don't know if it's because I've been talking about, you know, getting some nice fish catches and haven't gotten it yet. But that's just because I got the camera in the winter time, you know, and things are finally thawing out and the water's starting to warm up. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. If so, if you like this video or any of my content, think about liking and subscribing. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Look for some fishing videos coming soon. I'm out.